Have you ever looked at a map of the world and thought, this looks kind of like a puzzle? Have you ever thought that South America looks like it fits right alongside of Africa? There's a good reason for that. Scientists believe that our continents were once part of a large supercontinent. In 1915, the German geologist and meteorologist Alfred Wegener first proposed the theory of continental drift. It states that parts of the Earth's crust slowly drift atop a liquid core. The fossil record supports and gives credence to these theories of continental drift and plate tectonics. Wegener hypothesized that there was an original gigantic supercontinent 200 million years ago, which he named Pangaea, meaning all Earth. Pangaea was a supercontinent consisting of all Earth's land masses. It existed from the Permian through the Jurassic periods. It began breaking up during the late Triassic period. Evidence of this can be found in fossil evidence of plants and animals. Fossils of the Mesosaurus, one of the first marine reptiles even older than the dinosaurs, were found in both South America and South Africa. These finds, plus the study of sedimentation and fossil plant Glossopteris in these southern continents, help prove that they were once joined together. Pangaea broke up about 180 to 200 million years ago in the early Middle Jurassic. It broke into supercontinents Laurasia and Gondwana before each of these broke into the current continents. One rift resulted in a new ocean, the North Atlantic Ocean. The second major phase in the breakup of Pangaea began in the Lower Cretaceous, when Gondwana separated into multiple continents, Africa, South America, India, Antarctica, and Australia. The third major and final phase of the breakup of Pangaea occurred in the early Cenozoic period. Laurasia split when North America slash Greenland, also called Laurentina, broke free from Eurasia, opening the Norwegian Sea. The Atlantic and Indian Oceans continued ex to expand, closing the Tides Ocean. The breakup of Pangaea continues today in the Great Rift Valley. The Great Rift Valley is a name given to the continuous geographical trench, about 6,000 kilometers in length, that runs from northern Syria and southwest Asia to central Mozambique in East Africa. The rift is bordered by a series of mountainous and active volcanoes. It is a site of faults and earthquakes. Basically, the western part of Africa is rifting away from the eastern part body. Far in the future, a sea will run between these two parts of Africa. The Arabian Peninsula is already almost separated. The whole process is part of plate tectonics. In eastern Africa, the valley divides into two, the West Rift Valley and the Eastern Rift Valley. With all of this continental drifting, what do you think our world would look like? In the distant future, most, if not all of today's continents will assemble into a single landmass called Amnesia. This picture shows approximately 100 million years from now how Amnesia will look.